Hi, I wanted to just uh, show you what I think. I've uh, found a bug in Altium Designer 17. This is the absolute uh, latest release as of the release date of this video. And I was just um, actually making a video on ERC, Electrical Rules Checking in Schematics. And I was trying to like force an error and it wasn't being detected. And this is really rather unusual, okay? So what I've got here is I've I, I deliberately introduced several errors into this schematic here. One is a data out, an output pin of this chip is connected over to another output here. Okay, so two outputs shorted together, it should detect that, um, you know, as as a uh, fail. Okay, and then I've got, uh, I, well, I've got uh, two floating, I've got a floating input here. Um, so two inputs connected together with no driving source. Okay, it should detect that. And I've got another one here where the data output pin is connected through to ground. So it's connected to a power net. Once again, a really bad error which should be picked up by an ERC. So, hey, look, I'll go into my out job here. Okay, I've got my out job set for my Nixie Tube uh, display project. Here we go, and I'll run that. And bingo, look. Uh, okay, I've got a couple that are saying there's no driving source. Okay, that's fine, net's hidden. But there is no warning or error flagged for two output pins shorted together or for an output pin shorted to a uh, ground, like a power net. Okay, and just to prove that it's all hunky-dory, I'll go into my project options here, my connection matrix. Look, here it is, output pin to output pin, shorted together. So there it is, output pin to output pin generates an error. It should be an, it generate an error. You can have a no report, a warning, an error, or a fatal error. And trust me, I've experimented with this. Doesn't matter what you set here, it does not detect it. And power nets and everything else by default should actually detect this sort of stuff. And you go, okay, don't use an out job. But hey, an out job is supposed to be the final uh, step, critical design step before you manufacture, or in this case, you've done your schematic before you go to PCB, something like that. So there's something wrong. I'm not sure where it's getting, and if I just, uh, where it's getting those options from, whether or not it's a bug that's missing it, or it's getting some ERC options, matrix options from somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, if I go to the schematic document over here and I right click and I compile that document, which is the same thing as doing that um, ERC, and I'm specifically, I want to compile this one sheet like this. So I compile that Nixie sheet like that. And sorry, um, it didn't pop up. There's a window here. There's a uh, display window, a messages window. I'll actually clear that. So, and I'll run that again. Okay, compile, boom, there you go. It's done the ERC and it, look, compile successful, no error is found. It did not even warn that those two outputs are connected together. Now, the only way to make this work, and uh, I spoke to Altium and they said, yeah, do this and it'll work. And sure enough, it does. Um, I haven't used Altium 17 before. My previous version was Altium 10. Um, so yeah, I'm a newbie to Altium 17 here. So let's go over to here. If I go compile PCB project, now the project, which it contains a blank PCB, it doesn't matter. But if I do compile the PCB project, bingo, it finds it. Okay, exactly what you want. Uh, here we go, no dry uh, ground. There it is, ground contains output pin, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's found it. I don't like the fact that it, uh, it really doesn't highlight, uh, you know, you've got to like search through. Where is it? Where is it? Well, there it is in there. Um, yeah, so it doesn't, anyway. Uh, and of course, it, and it's generated other warnings here, like component has up unused subparts, which we didn't see before and things like that. So clearly it's getting rules from somewhere else. And here's the multiple output pin error, for example. So it has now detected it. It's detected it just fine. Multiple output pins, exactly as you would expect it to when you do an ERC. But if you go like this and compile that, where, look, it's not there. It's not there. That, to me, has got to be a bug. There's no way that you can miss critical errors on a schematic. I want to check 
that one schematic. I'm asking it to do that. And once again, the out job um, will do exactly um, the same thing. It'll miss those errors. So what the? Like, here's the, like, if I put that to a PDF report, I could feed that to a PDF report, give that to management and say, hey, look, it's past uh, ERC. No worries whatsoever. Let me go onto the PCB layout and they'll go, yeah, no worries. And my schematic contains, like, really gross errors that are going to release the magic smoke from these chips. I mean, it's just... No, nah, there's something seriously wrong here. So I want to know where it's getting the rules from to do that compile document there because it's certainly not coming from the project option and fair enough the pro when i do the project compile the project options uses the connection matrix but where else is it getting the rules from to do the compile so if it might be some legacy thing because outium is full of legacy uh, stuff and things like that but um please comment below if you think this is like a genuine bug or you know some way around it or I'm doing something dumb I'm still talking with Altium on this so I'm sort of like prematurely releasing this but I just wanted to document that issue so there you go I think that is a major issue if I compile a document do or do an out job especially an out job ERC like you know there it is electrical rules check thank you very much I expect it to catch all those errors and it doesn't anyway enough rambling catch you next time